Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got another how to get a specific X-Bag success story and this time it is from Monta. Now it goes like this. Hey Agnes, we've talked before about my ex coming back into my life and then we talked about how my neediness ruined it and he became my ex again. Right now it's been a month since I've been doing my self-love work, doing meditations, affirmations, scripting and trying to live my life the best I can. And the results of that are amazing. He contacts me all the time. He's busy, but he says he's trying to make time for me and he does. I'm finally important to him and he looks at me with love and happiness. And that all started to happen after two weeks of my self-love work and being busy with myself and my life. I feel absolutely amazing. I'm not needy and pleasing him and I just enjoyed that time and attention he's willing to give. I'm not walking around with my phone in my hands like I used to. I do my things and then if I have time to check, I check my phone for messages. And the best thing is there are always so many messages from him. I'm not getting upset anymore when he can't see me or can't replay me back. I used to be crazy, angry bitch about that. Now I'm still happy at the peace, even if our plans get ruined. Happy and at peace, even if our plans get ruined. I think that's supposed to say. I'm still doing all the self-love work that I did before because I've realized that it makes me feel so much better and keeps me away from bad thoughts. Sometimes I still want to send him a message first but then I stop myself because, he, because he's the one who should contact me and chase me and from time to time when I start to think like this he really is the one chasing me and trying to impress me now when I get messages from him it's not like oh my god anymore now it's more like oh that's him again gonna text him back later and it feels crazy because I want him so bad and now he's all mine and I feel secure and I still have to do a lot to make things right or to be honest to be in alignment and watch things falling perfectly together exactly how I want them to be. I am thankful and yes for your wonderful work. I absolutely am grateful about self-love work that your videos recommend. Not because I got my ex to be my current reality. Yes about that too, but mostly because you made me learn so much about myself. That's beautiful, Monta. That's beautiful. For others who are watching this, I recommend to be the happiest you you can be and to live your life while doing self-love affirmations and meditations. And don't do law of attraction techniques when you don't feel good about doing them. Do them when you're feeling amazing. Glow from the self-love work that you're doing and your life will glow from the love and happiness that your self-love brings in. Much love to you and wish you all to get what you want nice and easy. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So thank you, Monta. That's a lovely story. Yeah, you know what? I think sometimes you get someone back and then you lose them and then you've got to try and work out how to get them back again. The second time around, you are a lot more street smart as to what you did. You know, you got, you got your person back, but then you dropped the ball again. So it's a good lesson, I think. So thank you for sending that in. And I look forward to, if the timing's right for you, that we do an interview. And I will put the How to Get a Specific X Back playlist down below. For those of you that haven't seen it, I will also put down anything that Monta mentioned. She talked about meditations, she talked about self-love, and she talked about affirmations. I'll put some YouTubes down there below for that, for those of you that want to do a bit more work on yourselves. All right? So, also, the top that I'm wearing today is from my favorite designer in the south of France, Karen Yaki Mission. I love the pieces that she does. They're unique. She does small print runs, and I always love when someone is doing something artistic and creative and really exploring their creativity and doing it in a, just a wonderful, heartfelt way, which I know she does to be able to share that with you so this is another one of her lovely little tops i love beautiful fabrics and i love just when love is put into the creation and uh, i know that she puts love into what she does so i will put her details down below for those of you that would like to contact her she does small print runs so you're not going to get something that everybody else has lots of love everyone and i'll see you as always 
in the next YouTube.